G'day guys, it's Taeus and welcome to day 9. We've been a little bit busy. We've got some bacon and eggs cooking away for starters, so while it's cooking away, we'll have one of those. Put up the generator bank. Now what I need to do, morning chimes, I need to go find some more engines as well as put some more fuel on that as well. I'll go get the fuel in a second. So I've got the generator bank connected to the wire there, which is connected to, where are you? The switch there so i'm going to have a few different things set up i've got the trip wires at the moment i'm just looking for my doorway i get lost in here all the time unfortunately i've got what are you doing i don't know why she was dead maybe she must have been out there and died because it's morning time so i've got some trip wires i'm just looking out for zombies as well i can't really see any so i've got trip wires set up here so i just need to connect to one trip wires and then my trip wire will connect to a blade trap or something like that problem is with the blade traps if we have a quick look of it we need forged steel all the rest of it isn't too bad that amount of oil is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass but 13 forged steel is a little bit expensive so what we might do just to start the day we'll go do this tier 2 fetch clear just to get that out of the way because why not I'll pop some of my wire tools and all these other little bits and pieces away and then we'll come back and start working on the base again a bit more. Okay, here we are. Tier 2 fetch and clear. There's a couple about. Nothing too hectic just yet. No hordes coming to eat me, I don't think so. No, hopefully not. Let's see if we can get this done quickly just in case a horde does show up. Where are all you guys? We'll make a fair bit of noise because we don't care. They're not too tough at this stage still. Um, where are we? Sounds like there's some outside are going to come play with me, but that's okay. We'll quickly loot all this and, yeah, get to it. Okay, I've already found the main loot room. I was about to say, where's the last room? I think this guy's lucky last. If you could just stand up. Yep, that's it. We've got a few guys downstairs by the sounds of it, but yeah, nothing too hectic. Let's just have a quick look at this. Medical supplies, a couple bandages is nice. I'm a bit lacking in bandages and all that sort of thing, so definitely nice to get a few more. A few more bullets, machete parts, nothing really that exciting to be entirely honest. Uh, cooler mesh might be okay, but yeah, aside from that, yeah, really not much at all. So let's just get out of here. I've looted everything. I don't think there's anything too sneaky that I've missed. Well, there probably is, let's be honest, but yeah, nothing that I'm too concerned about. I'm not going to fall down there, but we might get a slide like that. And just get down nice and easy. These guys have beaten their way in. Where are you? Yeah, just a couple. Missed him. Yep, just those two. Nice and easy. I'll just loot the kitchen and then we'll be done. Nice and easy. Job. I guess Oh, so we'll come back and this is our rod for doing the job. AK-47 machine gun, I think. I don't really want the leg armor. It's, it's an improvement for armor and all that sort of stuff. That's heavy armor. I'm not too interested in heavy armor. Bombs and dynamite, no, nah, even though it's a schematic, no. Nah. So we'll definitely take the AK-47, because that's going to be very handy. A lot more damage than our pistol as well. So we'll see what sort of jobs he's got. Yeah, not a buried supplies. We'll take the um, fetch to the southeast, in fact, just because it's on... Where are we? Oh, it's way away. Yeah, we might have to cancel that. I've got just the job. So yeah, we end up taking the buried supplies instead, just because... Yeah, it might be a little bit easier. Yeah, it's not too far. You can kind of go that way and then down to the trader, kind of. Let's go back to the base, and we won't go to the other trader today, just because... Yeah, it's not trader restock day, so it's not too much point to going in there. Okay, let's dump everything off and see how we go. Okay, we'll put another point in intelligence, just so that'll allow us to get the next level inventor. So, uh, if you look at this, the current level I've got, crafting forge, steel, and electron, electronical devices cost 15% less, and then this is 25% less. So I might save a point, and also, yeah, in other words, my next point to go in there, uh, crucibles is what I need, is the last level, so I'm going to need 10 intellect, and yeah, that's going to be a bit of a pain to get. What I might do actually is I'll go do this out of fetch clear and let's get a few more supplies so we can start working on the base a bit more. 
Actually, change your mind. We will do the buried supplies and then do go do the fetch clear. Let's get to it. Oh, an electronics store. I need electronics. We've got some cars to bust down. I think this seems like a sign. Let's get to this. I can hear a few guys floating about the place. Oh, yep. Just take care of you. And then we'll take care of you. Missed. Missed. And gotcha. Yeah, so we'll break down this car quickly. Unfortunately, no engines or anything in that. But yeah, we'll kill a few of these guys and get some elect electrical parts that we're definitely going to need. Oops. Nearly. Look at that. Not too tough at all. And for luck, maybe we could find some forged steel. I'm not too sure. But if we can find a few extra bits of forged steel, that's definitely going to come in handy. Yeah, these guys aren't. Still aren't too tough yet, are they? Look at that. Too easy. Alright, let's get to looting. Okay, let's open a couple of these boxes just to see what we get in here. First, we'll murder this guy. This place has been quite good for like electronic parts and all that sort of stuff. My wrench is just broken, which has been unfortunate. But so far, we've got 89 electric parts. And we're finding things like electric time relay schematics, generator schematics. I found eight lights. Dart trap schematic, found a motion sensor. These are all great things just to be finding. If you had inspected into the intelligence tree, then this would be definitely a great uh, place to pick up a few little odds and ends for your base. Just take care of these guys quickly. If I could find a wrench, that'd be ideal. I know I've still got a few at home, but yeah. Okay, let's see what's in these boxes I've just opened. Nope, not you. The electric... Oh, look at that forged steel. That's absolutely perfect. I was definitely after some forged steel, so good to have. Another hammer, some more forged iron. Yeah, very handy. Doesn't look like we can loot that box. Sneaky little medical pile in here. So yeah, we've done quite good for all this sort of stuff out here. There's definitely some more nice things to break down for sure. But before we do all that, let's have a quick look upstairs, see if there's anything worthwhile. Uh, might be something. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Not under those. There we go. Loot box. Another one of those. And just a couple of these guys to take care of. Which shouldn't take long at all. Okay, so medical supplies first. Yeah, some more healing. That's, again, not a bad thing. I should get some more healing bandages going in my toolbar, actually. A little bit more ammo. That's good because we're uh, using the AK that we got off our last crest, which is fantastic. An upgrade to our scrap iron shovel. We're not going to complain about that. And yeah, some odds and ends, some more ammo and all that sort of stuff. Nothing fantastic, nothing that I'm right home about. But yeah, it's definitely worth a look in the electronics store. We'll have a quick look at the back here just to finish it off. But yeah, not really expecting a whole lot out here. Aside from what we've already got. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Sneaky electronics box has another anvil, some items, that sort of stuff. Again, nothing too fantastic, but if you didn't have an anvil, that'd be handy, I guess. Uh, it sounds like we've got a couple of guys approaching the place. Whoops. We'll have a quick look. Oh, yeah, just one guy. And they're pretty, pretty sturdy walls, actually. Two and a half thousand hit points. It's not too bad. You could potentially make this into a base maybe here's your little garage driving here yeah just a thought we'll pick up some more cement and cobble and we'll be on our way i think actually we'll swap it over 61 with 19 i picked up i was looking through my shovels before it's pretty good but this one's better so let's just pop that in there and off we go oh we found that nice and quick we literally just dug down here and yeah bingo i'm not going to complain about that at all Eh. Loot wasn't fantastic, but oh well. Can we actually get out of here? Yes, we can. That was a bit of a slight concern. Last thing you want to be doing, doing is trap down a hole with a bunch of these guys coming in on you. But yeah, not too much. Especially when you just pop all the heads like that. I was going to say, they aren't too much trouble at all. And a stamina. And pop. Finish off the guy on the left so I get some stamina back. And uh, there we go, that easy. What did I do with my mini bike? Okay, so we smashed the buried supplies out. Um, we might just go take that back and then 
Go have a look at the cathedral, actually, and then go back to the base. Take the little side door entrance through here. Still got a little cornfield just sitting there, which I haven't bothered to pick up yet. Let's see what this guy's going to give me. Uh, first aid bandages. Ooh, military leg armor is definitely going to be worth it. It's lion armor, and it gives me a huge boost. Oh, but first aid bandage schematic. That's a tough one, actually. Because um, what it will do is it will save me a point in... Where is it? Physician. This would give me um, first aid bandage. Yeah, but I might put a point in there anyhow. It allows me to craft chemistry stations, first aid bandages, and plaster casts. Yeah, okay. So I'll probably want that anyhow. So military leg armor. It is. There we go. Listen up, Jack. Whoops. I accidentally clicked on that. Okay, what job do we want? We might just take all of these and then just get rid of them all. I think it's going to be to go. We can't forget that guy's got. Um, Watch my corner. Oh, we can sell some of these things. He's got a motorcycle for sale as well. Do I want a motorcycle? Might just be easier than making one. All right, now it's a motorcycle would cost a fair of bit store. of. Where is it? Motorcycle costs a fair bit of uh, forged steel, I believe. Oh, 37 is not too bad, actually. I thought it was a lot more than that. Maybe I've been playing too many mods for too long. But yeah, that's not too bad. We're not that far off, it actually. Uh, yeah, we might save our 19 hours with like solar panels and stuff. Yeah, but anyhow, we've got a whole bunch of things. Don't forget our mini bike, and let's go work on our base a little bit. Put some traps down. Would love to find a crucible. Actually, what have we got? Let's just dump everything here and see if we can find a crucible schematic in the cathedral. Because if we can find that. It'd be nice to get it early. Uh, yeah, cathedral's good. Let's go have a quick look. There'll be a whole heap of books in there anyhow, and books are getting some new books and stuff. It's going to be amazing, especially better better up books are going to be great. So yeah, let's see what we find. Okay, the loot's all the way up there. Let's get started. What can we find? I don't think there's anything too interesting here. There's some stone and stuff. We want to come back for that, but not too interested just yet. Watch out for all the little sneaky guys, but yeah, we wanted to get straight to the books. There should be a one of those just there. So it saves us like falling down on it. Um there we go. Take care of you. That's it. There we go, that's better. Nothing hidden there. Just a backpack. And yeah, let's go collect some books. Well, there wasn't a, as many books I was hoping, actually. There isn't a whole heap. But yeah, ergonomic grip mod schematic, yeah. Barrel extender schematic, barrel extender's quite nice. I might actually end up making that. What do you know, that one. Hunting knife, that's good. Tech junkie, craft robotic talent shells, yeah. 44 magnum, sure. Uh, find 10% more jewelry and precious gems while looting, yeah. Stun bat, who cares. What do you know, mini bike. Grave digger mod schematic. Weighted head schematic, and what we got? Shotguns have 20% less degradation. That's not too bad, as well as the robot talent schematic. So yeah, nothing absolutely fantastic, to be entirely honest. There's a few more books and stuff to go in this place, but not the greatest of starts. Oh, she was nice and close, and so was he. Luckily, they missed. Yeah, just hiding behind a corner like that. It was a little bit sneaky. But we're doing not too bad. Find a few things in the coffins. Nothing absolutely fantastic. Just little bits and pieces. I found another book, but I've already got it. So no big deal. We will just keep pressing, pressing on and see what we got. Oh, take out these guys. I'm not doing too bad. This is just a basic um, baseball bat. So yeah, not complaining at all. Bit of food, that'd be nice. Perfect. Just what we need. Okay, we're in like the main room now. There should be some more books and stuff floating about. Uh, we can go up there, but I think, yeah, we'll go in some of these offices and find these books and stuff. There's a little spider monkey guy. Those guys are annoying, just because they're a little bit hard to hit. We've definitely got a few guys in here. Oh, that was nice, because he was tough, so it's 
pretty good. Oh, sneaky. Just have to keep an eye on these. Okay, so a little bit low on stamina, which is the only thing that's annoying. Ooh, and people trying to get in. Okay, so we just have guys raining from the ceiling, apparently. Oh, took out Spider Guy, which I'm very happy about. We've got an AK, let's just take off a couple of these guys. Look at that. AK doing beautiful work. Nice and easy. I mean, I only used, what, 16 shots, cleared out all that. Yep, yeah, not complaining about that at all. Made it nice and easy for us. Let's go see if we can find these officers. And nothing in here. No. Let's see if we can find some more books. Okay, wall safe has uh, a better pistol. Yeah, and some ammo. Nothing fantastic. If I didn't have a gun already, but the AK is clearly better. AK holds more ammo and does more damage. And there's no books in any of these bookshelves. That's just that's just mean. Okay, let's try and get up to the top. I think I've looked in all the offices, to be honest. There might be this one we'll have to look in. No, no bookcases. Is there anything up here, maybe? I'm not quite sure. No. Yeah, well, that's quite rude. Alright, let's go to the end loot thing, but before that, we'll take this out because I hate fighting vultures, they're a pain in the ass. And we'll just pop these guys off. Oh, that was lucky. As I was going to say, I hate fighting those guys, they're a pain in the ass. I'm not going to try and tiptoe across that just in case I miss it. This is the much safer option. Look at that, so much easier. No issues. What I also like to do here, just so we don't have any issues at all, look at that. I'm not going to fall, anything like that. So much easier. Okay, let me break open these things and see what we have. Okay, we only used a couple of lockpicks for the hardened chest, which I'm quite thankful for. I was always a little bit concerned. You know there's a whole bunch of loot in there and you're kind of wondering, do I have to beat into that? And it's like... How much does that have? 10,000 hit points. That's going to take a while. So, let's see what we've got. We'll start with the crappiest first. Medical pile. Eh. Guns. Oh, Jesus. Really? Stone arrows? Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Gun store box. Yeah, a little bit of ammo. Bow crossbow parts. Yeah, rocket launcher parts. I might steer clear of that. Iron pickaxe. What's it got? 41 and it costs 19. This is... I know it's got one mod in it, but it takes a lot less stamina and does a lot more um, block damage. So, yeah, it's just crazy how there's such a difference between scrap and iron. Oh, some repair kits. That's excellent. And now the hardened chest. Nothing fantastic. Some metal spikes is nice, though. This is really good. I'll put this in instead of the chain, in fact. So we'll take all that. And the reason why I will is... Oh, instead of the barbed wire... 20% chance to cause bleeding damage, 40% chance for power attacks. Who cares? Instead, if you put this in, each successive hit lowers enemy's armor rating by 20%, which is quite good for clubs. It makes it just so much easier. If you're coming across like an armored dude, you can just start yeah, knocking them down a little bit. Okay, I think that's about it. We got some things, nothing overly fantastic. I will take that out and put the impact... Reduces full damage, definitely something we want. Tidy up a couple of these mods and we'll make a move, I think. Okay, we made it out there with too much, without too much of an issue. Let's just get back home, I think. I should have bought a wrench so I can break down a few of these cars and whatever, but that's okay. We got a fair bit from the electronics store. We got a few, a little bit extra knowledge from there. So, can't complain. Well, we can't even take everything. Oh well, we'll have to come back for a few things. So yeah, we've done quite well in terms of loot and all that sort of thing. 8 o'clock, time really flies. I was hoping for a bit more from the cathedral. I was hoping we'd get a few more books and all that sort of stuff, but yeah, it wasn't to be. Let's just put all this sort of stuff away and then we'll sort out a few things. What we'll do is we'll put another point into advanced engineering, because why not? It should allow us to make blade traps a little bit cheaper. 
Don't mind the old blade trap. Yeah, an extra two steel cheaper. That's not too bad. And we can make a couple. Yeah, why not? We need a couple blade traps. Let's make that happen. And that's going to take a little bit of time. There we go. It's all going pretty good. What I have to remember to do as well is we might store this just for later in case we need it. And we'll take one of these better ones. But yeah, so... We're getting the base going. We'll get those blade traps all happening. Actually, in fact, let's go have a bit of a look downstairs. So what I want to happen, no zombies out here, is they come through here. As soon as they pass this, then they set off the arm um, tripwire. So I could... I like having a lamp there. Yeah, I don't know how it's going to work with a blade trap. Maybe I don't have a blade trap on that side. I could have certainly have a blade trap in here so when they come through here they can get decapitated that could work quite nicely i hope maybe some darts or something i wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having like an open door uh, like an electric a power door a vault door powered so it opens yeah it's gonna be tough yeah i have to work out where we're gonna put the blade trap but yeah definitely have a trip wire system just so when they um hit it and then it sets it all off Hmm, we'll have to have a bit of a look at that. We'll get some traps and stuff building, and then hopefully we should be able to put them down tonight and see how that goes. So yeah, we've got a few things done today. Uh, tomorrow is Trader Restock Day, so we will definitely hit our trader, then do the fetch and clear, and then hit the other trader. Ooh, loot me. I might have to go have a look at that. Obviously, I've left some loot or something behind. But yeah, so tomorrow, trader, crest, other trader. Hopefully, we can pick up some nice things. And get some more levels, because I need some more levels. The idea is to get to that 10 intellect, get that last point in advanced engineering, and then we can have uh, Crucible to make forged steel. And forged steel means lots of fun things. Anyhow, guys, that's the plan. We'll see how we go. I'll put some lights up as well. Since it's night time, I can see how dark it is out here. And we picked up a whole bunch of lights in the electronic store. So yeah, why not? We'll put them to good use. I'll show you what that looks like in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Really enjoyed it. We're getting there. Uh, hopefully by the end of day 10, we should have some decent traps and stuff going in here. Well, we've got a couple of blade traps going, so there's no reason why not. Anyhow, guys, I'll catch you for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you later, guys.